just left the car dealership. It's officially my van. Before we get started, my name is Laura, and in 2020, I quit my job to travel full time. I did a ton of hiking, tried some amazing foods, and got to see some unbelievable places. It wasn't without its challenges, but I overcame them, and this year I've decided to take a cargo van, convert it to an off-grid RV, and travel to all 63 national parks in the U.S. I've been searching for a van, and today, I think I've finally found the one. Today, I'm test driving a 2020 Ford Transit. If you saw last week's video, you know I'm looking for something that's in really good shape. I don't wanna have any issues while I'm on the road, so I decided I should look at a newer van to see if it's worth the increase in price so that I can have peace of mind as I'm driving that everything is in good shape. Let's take a look at the 2020 Ford Transit. I'm sticking with the medium roof and the 148 inch wheelbase. I think that that's gonna be the best fit for me and hopefully get a little better gas mileage as I'm driving 20,000 miles across the country. Everybody knows I was really worried about the rust on the other van. This one looks excellent. Taking a look inside the 2020, we have lights, we have no windows in this van. So I would definitely need to put in at least a couple windows. One of the things I was interested in is how dark it is with all of the doors closed. I think it'll be lighter once we get all this turned to white. So far, everything inside, it looks really nice. I'm gonna drive it around for a while and see what I think. Here we go. I feel like I'm on top of the world. Let's take a look under the hood. Well, I've test driven it. I've looked all over the inside, all of the outside. It's easy to say that I definitely like this. It's very nice. It feels steady as I'm driving. It's quick to respond. All of the fun things. I think it's crazy to buy a brand new van that I'm immediately going to put holes in for windows and everything that I need. But I think that's what's going to happen. I definitely like this one. But it's more expensive. So gonna have to think about it. I love it. I love it. I could totally see myself rebuilding this and taking it across the country. I'm gonna have to sleep on this one. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I went to the car dealership this morning and I filled out all the paperwork. Now Courtney is taking me to finally pick up the van. I'll have the keys in about five minutes and I can't believe that I finally bought a van. the keys finally get to take a look at everything I'm gonna do some measurements not gonna do any work today but I want to outline all the pieces to make sure they fit and now that I have the van it's time to start ordering everything that goes in it when we're done you'll be able to see the entire layout that I have planned for the van <music> Oh, 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 oh,
that as we were doing this, I didn't do a very good description of what the layout is going to be. So here's the van. These are the two seats up front. In the back, I'm going to have the bed. Under the bed will be the garage where we have all of the storage for hiking gear and anything else that might be dirty. The door is on the right side. I'm going to put the kitchen near the door. On the opposite side, I'll have a closet. This will be my main spot for storage. I'll also have a few drawers under the bed, but everything else will go in the closet. Up front, I'm planning to have a seating area. There'll be storage underneath, a table that I can move and work on my computer. It'll also be a great place to sit and put my shoes on before going outside. Right now, I'm planning to put three windows in the van, two by the bed and one up by the kitchen. I will also put a fan in the ceiling and hopefully have plenty of circulation even on rainy days. And that's it. That's the plan for the van. We have the measurements done. It looks like we have a huge space for the bed. We have the cabinet for the kitchen marked out, a closet, and a seating area. I expected to have more room for the seating area, but it looks like that's just not in the cards right now, so I'm going to have to look at some different things and see if it still works for the layout. But for today, that's all we have planned. It's time to start buying things. One thing we haven't talked about is that I need a name for the van. So if you have any ideas on what I should name the van, leave it in the comments. If it's your first time here, make sure that you subscribe. I'm getting ready to get this van set up and go visit all of the national parks in the US. This is just the first day and I'm really excited for you to come along with us. Welcome to day one of the van build.